Powerty Fast Force 289 back again, and today I'm going to be changing the oil in my mama's 2011 Ford Edge. It takes 5W20, full synthetic, and a FL500S Motorcraft oil filter. I use Motorcraft because everything else is shit. Uh, I'd always use Motorcraft on Ford, just a preference. And uh, this takes five and a half quarts. I had to buy the five quart plus another quart. But anyway, I went ahead and filled or went ahead and put some oil in the oil filter. I'll tell you my finger. I, I'm wearing gloves because I'm using my phone. Usually I wouldn't wear gloves for this, but I don't want to get my phone all dirty. Throw some oil on there. Now I like to take a towel and soak up the uh, what I spilled. And you put the oil filter in the box upside down. It makes a good holder for this too. That ain't gotta be perfect, but I just like to clean it up a little bit. All right. You're also gonna need a jack or some way to lift the vehicle up. A creeper, preferably. I mean, you can lay on your back on the dirt, or whatever. But I like to use the creeper. You need a 15 millimeter wrench and maybe an oil filter wrench because how tight the oil filter is. You need a drain pan. So now we'll crawl up underneath the vehicle. And there's the drain plug, right there. Let's see. I'll break this loose. Okay. Make sure you get the old pan where you catch the oil, and then. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna let that sit there and drain down for a little bit. And uh, but, uh stuff looks almost red. It's that full synthetic crap, but yeah, it ain't super dirty, but uh but definitely uh needs some changing. It was time at the 5,000 mile mark, so it's time to change it. Let's see. For the oil filter, you might can grab it by hand and loosen it. Yeah, see this here came loose. If not, I'll show you how to use the wrench. If not, you take the wrench here and you put it on here. This thing, this thing will get used very much. And just tighten it like that and bam i'll break it loose but like i said in this case i didn't need it luckily usually i don't need it but sometimes you do all right i'm gonna screw it on off of here oh yeah oh. a little bit of a mess here sorry i cleaned it up afterward and uh, I'm going to let this drain down, and I'll get back with y'all on the next video for the install. Right, thanks for watching.